the fists of iron. One and a natural one. So nine damage. Well, that triggers my thing twice. Uh, natural alt attack roll. Yes, yes, it does. For As a total of forty-one, I think. Enough to destroy itself. It punches him and then just explodes. Let's see, the large stone construct is no longer weakened. I'll remove that at the moment, as it will smash down on Gehoa because, well... Well, she has plus 4 AC at least. Yeah, that's true. One, and two. Ooh, the first one is it. And she recalls quite significantly. Uh, the second one is a miss, which also makes her recall, and she's staggered. Doesn't have much off. No, doesn't like any of this. Talia. Do I have a way I can destroy this thing in one hit? I think the answer is no. Um, but Talia will, I suppose, blast at it. I'm trying to two. Okay, crit! 66, all right. Javelin punches into the golem. Mm. That's already doubled there, so. It is most certainly staggered. It's still standing strong. Unfortunately, I did not kill it in one hit. Uh, anything else? Uh, I should probably do my save. Just take your damage and do your save. Okay, I take 10 damage and it ends. Right. Kihoa, for her part, will try to book it and fail. She is not agile enough to escape this thing. No booking. Graham. That's my job in the score. Yep. Uh, well, I suppose I'll... I should have forgot to attack with Edling at all. Uh, well, I'll go here. And I will simply attack this thing. So I'll add him back to the initiative again. 25, that is a hit for 44. Right. Edling will attack with that. And that is enough to destroy it completely. Alright, wonderful. As it is now just boulders on the floor. Combat is over as the last sounds of battle and metal and rock hitting the floor echo through the sewer. Quickly replaced by just the, the sound of, of splashing water. Shield fizzles out. I'm not gonna bother healing my 15 hit points. As for the damage, we take it one last time and then it's gone. Yes. You take okay. one and assume you, basically assume you succeed your save. There we go. Which means you're a first, you don't take damage at all. God. Uh, 25 still isn't worth me I using need a to recovery. Use a recovery. 39. That's basically four. Well, onwards then. As you gather yourselves, uh, Kihoa in a hissing voice will say, this is the only permanent guard post that I am aware of. From now on, it will be a matter of dodging the patrols until you get to where you have to be. I do How not exactly many? know where you have to go, however. I would assume we simply follow the waterway. It is some distance before it splits. How many patrols are in each area? It varies. Although the humans following the constructs tend to be rather loud. So they For have ears, actual anyways. guards patrolling down here as a stand of du stand of duty. I was baffled. She frowns a bit. Well, as it turns out, this particular area had problems with wilders before. Shakes his head. He 
questions there, why someone would live here, or why they would care. <laughs> crazy, absolutely crazy. Yeah. Herndor looks appalled at the the state of his like gauntlets and like um, uh, his armor down on his legs. It's filth covered. Yeah, looks appalled. Yes. Well, we'll follow her lead to avoid the patrol, I suppose. Oh, Talia has the 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 the. the yeah. I'm the thing. one. I'm, I'm on the only one. With the, I'm on the. Te- I have the detection item to try and find them. Oh. Yeah, she's not. She's not leading us for part of the draws. You you can walk with her and Oren. Left, right, forward, backwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's more Talia can pick up when they're nearby, so we can you know, judge them. Yeah. Do. And also, maybe you could be checking for magical traps. Yes, I think it's I think it's fair fair that Talia will also, as kind of going on waiting for her, waiting for the device to suddenly light up on her, she's going to she's going to be trying to scent, reach out her magic and sense what's going on, checking for any more wards. All right, you continue on. Yeah. The waterway. Is quite winding, and it almost feels like it get it is getting narrower. But that might just be because the the height of the water seems to be slowly increasing, or perhaps the sewer itself getting slightly deeper, as it does get a bit more difficult to walk through it. Not difficult to the point where you know it would hinder you significantly, but still that it is a consideration as you splash around. Uh, some distance into the waterway, uh, there does appear to be a small uh, walkway next to the water now that at least the the smaller members of the group can in fact stand on. Hirondo wouldn't really fit on it, however. Well, he's big yes. enough. He's big enough to not have much trouble in the water anyway. That is true. He's less encumbered by it. I will move you up here. Kill okay, just behind. Uh, it is at this point that Talia's device does seem to light up, indicating that there is something coming from the north. And in fact, some seconds after that, you do hear the faint voices of of two two people quietly whispering to each other. It does seem like they are not very far away and will likely come across this very spot in moments, really. We don't think we've got long, not really long, not, not really long enough anywhere we can really hide, so... Hmm. Do, do we want to just try ambushing them, then? Or? I mean... If we just stay waiting, if they turn around and go, uh, the fuck, and then draw their swords, then we kill them. Well, but, yeah. you know. So we kill them, is what you're saying. If they attack us, all right? Okay. If We're the bird here flies, here I will murder it. Dead. I mean, the thing is, the, the, gods are go- the gods are going to attack us, but I think it's pretty much what's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they might see here and door and go, I'm not paid enough. And leave. I mean, they're here looking for Wilders, right? Uh, that is do, true. We, do we want to kill them or just subdue no. them? I would rather no, subdue them. I want to kill guards. Yeah, Herando will not be killing them. Well, Knocking them out with headbutts. suspicious, though? Because they That's the are... thing, right? We have to make it believable that we uh-huh. did this because uh-huh. we're malicious and evil. Mm-hmm. That's, the, that's the cruel thing about this. Could we, could we maim them to the point where they barely survive? Make them never survive. walk again. <laughs> I don't know if that's Just much look, nicer, really. really. I don't want to kill Oh, Aaron doesn't yeah. want to kill them, all right? See, that's the cruel thing, right? We don't want to kill them for their own sake. Mm-hmm. Like, we yeah. want to... <laughs> it would be better for them if they just knew they would just... They could just leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So let them come around the corner and we can go... Just don't. 
<clears throat> there we go. No, for Grand Castle! By the law and order! Yeah. Here, just, just here. Defend the sewer from the maybe, invaders! Maybe we can bluff past them, sure. Oh. <laughs> Or, or, or we could potentially be a bluff or intimidate past them, I suppose. Look, look at Hirondor, would he lie to you? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> if if they come around the corner, see a huge tannin flanked by, or, or like, with a glowy lady, a couple of undead people, and, well, I guess three undead people, they're going to go, uh-huh. <laughs> Go, no. no, no, we won't tell anyone. Then go and tell the Atlanta. Yeah, huh? that's the first thing that's gonna happen. You gotta tell yeah, like stuff in, like stuff ass, whatever his name was. We could like knock him out if they run, right? I knew it. Seal the exits. <laughs> Flood the sewer. <laughs> that's why the sewer is so big. All right. Well, let's put it this way: Harando is not cool with killing them, so he's not gonna kill them. Uh, Kihua, this does his dive quick. Face first, cover yourself. It is dark, they will not notice. What? I mean, like hide under the water, I suppose. He will not looks the giant dragon. He looks just like looks at her, looks at his armor that's all gleaming and shining and just looks sickened. You know what, you know what? Graham's Graham's okay, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. He'll just I'll just do that, then that'll <laughs> You know, that's so not a bad that. idea, actually. <laughs> if you want to do that to Randor, then sure. maybe that protects his armor. Sure. He would prefer this He's just over. a huge carcass. That's what the Randor is. Yeah, he'd prefer to be... He'd prefer to look like that than... And covered now in mud now and have his sort armor. of slump over. Yeah, yeah just kind of drop. Carly has, no, Carly has no problem with just holding her breath and... <laughs> he right. doesn't need to First hold his breath. All, He'll just sink exactly. down. <laughs> First of all, both of those spells take two d four rounds to cast. Why don't you guys roll me a two d four then? All right. Two. Yes. Error messages four. All right. So don't thought Graham finishes his spell just seconds before the actual guards. May or may not turn around the corner. So, so what are you planning to do here exactly? Anarchy goes Looks like a water. zombie and lay in the water. Yeah, like I don't need to breathe. Let's make use of that fact. Mm. I don't need to move. I don't need to do anything. No, I just go completely deathly still. Put the scythe yeah, down yeah, so I, it doesn't glee much, and then well, same with the link, just in the I nasty hit. poo water. You know, mm -hmm. Randall will use like one of his great wings to cover Talia. By uh, as they as they go down to the water, they kind of. He kind of just drapes a wing over as if to cover her because she's the least dead looking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, after a few moments, then you continue hearing the voices approach, a small light lighting the way in front of them. As they. Uh, let me reveal like this space over here. So a small group of, well, two people and one of the metal constructs trailed by one of the stone constructs, which moves with really surprising silence as the, the guards mumble between each other, sort of looking at the, at the sewer water in front of them, which does seem to be, the floor there seems to be slightly raised, as of like being like a pseudo bridge, which they apparently intend to step through, but are somewhat hesitant about. They look around looking for any excuse not to do that part of their work. Uh, yeah, if you zoom out a bit, you'll you'll see what I mean. I'll reveal this one. Uh, as they look around, why don't you give me a hiding in filthy water skill check? I just <laughs> lay very still. I I don't know. Um, you know, I'm I am literally dead. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, I am a corpse. Yeah. I I don't know. I know uh, what I would do to be more corp more more of a dead person. So so you 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 channel your your inner corpse being. Yes, I I am sort of dead. I don't breathe. I don't need to move. 
I just lay at the bottom of this scummy, terrible water. <laughs> and a fair point, even there. Uh, let's see, why don't you give me a dexterity check then, perhaps, to, to be sneaky, but I'll give you a plus four bonus, because you don't that's, have to breathe. It's still a net negative with my with my uh, my form, though. But uh, mm -hmm. Maybe some something else, no. because the form was sort of supposed to help, <laughs> in a way. Yeah, just just ignore the, the penalty from the form, then. Okay. Dex with a with a plus four bonus, ignore the penalty because I, I do think it's it's sort of appropriate. I suppose I could use my my uh, necromancer background for it. I have about... been a for a very long time. Yeah. Oh, for Hirondor though, he um when being a young baby Tannenim, hiding from larger Tannenim and other large predators. Hiding in whatever cover, be it murky pond or whatever, is a, a effective strategy for poor sighted predators. Yeah, I, I like that. Well, Anakin yeah. has traveled many roads, and from time to time he has had to hide from pursuers in just this fashion. This is not the first time he has laid at the bottom of scummy water to avoid detection. Uh, sure. It was a it was a few years ago for Talia, De up, up 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 the north somewhere. I'm not entirely not entirely sure where now. It's been a while, but Talia has like flashbacks of a memory where she has to do something rather similar. Heading through heading through these ruins, she was by herself. She didn't have any aid. She didn't have anyone to cover her back. And then she heard heard things coming. Things she knew she couldn't handle. Things much bigger. She'd been warned about. So what did she do? Looking around, there wasn't much. The, the next room was flooded. What did have to do? So Talia went in. Talia went in there. Holding her breath and just hid, un just hid under the water, waited as long as she could, remaining as quiet as possible and trying to avoid detection. And that is what she did. Probably even be okay. I argue that Talia could use her constitution to hold her breath. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're the same score for me. Oh, okay. It just honestly doesn't matter to me. The main point was the you know, the Ruin Explorer background I was going for. <laughs> yeah. You okay with I, I think it's okay, yeah. Could uh, Hirandor draping his wing over with that epic crit help Talia, maybe? Well, we'll see. It won't give her a bonus, but we'll see. Uh, ooh, that one. Ooh. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, well, that's... It was the nat 20 and the nat 1. This is the problem with There's Stelvis. a live woman under all those corpses. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, help! That's, out. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is the, this is the problem with stealth. The fact that everyone has to roll for it, and then someone has you to. You know, to if if they see her, she can just be like, "Help! I'm trapped. I I killed the wild in here." But mm -hmm. she could bluff I'm sure she's a great liar. I'm sure. Yeah, no, she's uh, she's fooled she us all this time. She might be taken in for questioning or something, but she has she has contacts here. Uh, it does turn out that. Uh, the the guards do look towards you, and their their gazes linger for a bit as they talk between each other, a bit louder, as if irritated. As one says to the other, "Look over there, there's a blockage again." The other one doesn't really give an answer. It's not really our job, but we should check it out at least. The other one sort of shrugs. Well, you do it then. The guard who suggested it hesitates as if regretting his, his comment and ever so slowly walks towards you, carefully stepping as to not as to avoid slipping. Can uh what type of illumination do they have? Uh they have a small lamp, but the illumination really doesn't reach very far. It's sort of good light until like three squares in front of them, and everything after that is sort of very dim. I do uh, press the digitation. I could snuff out a small light, I think. Right? Uh, that would be a valid use. That would be a skill check, I think. Okay. As, as Enrican lying under the filthy water, <laughs> trying to target the light source. Would be difficult, but not impossible. Uh, I might as well try, right? <laughs> Magical background? Uh, yes. Okay. The spell check mark. That's uh, 33. 33. So it turns out that is enough. As the, the guard steps towards you, the light goes out, 
do you hear hear a few curses as the only illumination now is the runes on the golems, which barely does anything. The guard's footsteps do suggest that he's going going back around as he loudly complains about this silly equipment and they can't check out a blockage without light. That would be suicidal in these conditions. Of course. So, well, can't continue <laughs> either, so they b best find their way back. Hmm. Man, like, this must be the worst job. <laughs> Are you kidding? Being down you here? You have to walk around in the oh. sewer p As poking they... blockages of poop with your stick <laughs> for... <laughs> oh. <sighs> Nope, no way, the architect's not, again, that, not that popular. Once again, disappear to where they came from. Whew. And he poked his head up over the water. Runs to himself. Yeah, Randall steps up, water pouring through the holes in his chest mm -hmm. cavity. And Holes in his wings. Uh, As Hollow comes up and just starts coughing, she ends up getting a bit of water in her mouth. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Randall starts gagging. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, that's pretty much what I'm imagining the Nat One basically represents. She accidentally got a little bit in her mouth and just like, throwing up. Hair, oh. clothes, that's all oh. coming out. Like, oh. you can't, there's never oh. going to clean again. No. Well, you know, this is why she has magic. She has magic to literally clean. Time to shave. Yeah. <laughs> Just completely, complete <laughs> rinsing of everything. The, the the black tunnel behind Talia does let out what appears to be a sort of sympathetic purr, maybe, as she, as she sort of nods to herself and says, there are reservoirs of cleaner water ahead, ward off and discarded. That is where I am headed. You'll give me a moment. As Tali will cast both precipitation to try and clean out her mouth of <laughs> <laughs> and, and then and then as a function of mending as it's allowed over the next one one to six rounds, suddenly she will be completely clean, all of her equipment completely dry and uh, no no longer covered in any gunk. <laughs> if you could do that to me once we get out of here, I would be very happy. She can, it's a can for her and or nods in uh, in complete agreement with Anakin. I might be a necromancer, but I don't like poop in my clothes. <laughs> you still smell. Graham yes. is rotten right now, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yes, I do have yeah. still have a sense of smell and taste. It's just that you know. If you if you get if you get out of the gunk, I can tell them to fly over to you. It says bad coming up is coming down. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you only have to swallow it once. Yep. Oh. Randall right. enjoys the fact that his shiny armor is no longer visibly dirty, so he'll continue on like this. It's fused into his form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So he can't see it. It's not upsetting him. Just walk in this, actually. And, and you know what? And you know what? We're out again. And once we're out here, it only takes one to six rounds for Talia to clean it. Yeah, he will definitely want that. This is why I love cantrips. Guess we press on. Now we go to the meeting place. All right. Right, we're back to searching for magical wards as we're moving. As it turns out, the meeting place is only some distance ahead. So you may move as you wish. To the left here. Oh, okay. Alright, I just picked up a slice of pizza, but alright. Nope. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. <laughs> so, so hey, I'm not uh, wicked. So, so were we supposed to kill all his guards, or were they supposed to? So he was supposed to sneak uh, away, right? It was something like that. Yes, it was sort he of. He basically said, "Make." So he didn't want us to do it. So, yeah. So, because we asked, like, do you want us to like? Come yeah. In? He was like, "No, sneak away." We're like, "Okay, cool." And, you, I, and I had some ideas to possibly help with a distraction if needed. Right. Potentially, it's not perfect, but you know, stick we'll a dynamite, just throw it in here. Not quite. <laughs> Kaboom. Can't Talia is not the explosive sort. That would have been the, the enemy's way of doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did suggest getting some bombs, but they didn't really want to give us any. <laughs> is, really? Uh, yeah. Is Kaihoa following us? And they solve so many problems. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's Speak terrible, around the really. corner. The corner here does... 
lead into a hallway, just as these few do. It's looping right around to come back the other side here. We did, we're, we're, we're actually just stuck in this tiny little, like, yeah. side, little circular block. Man, their job is just to walk around this square. Yeah. It's the Metal Gear approach to, <laughs> to guard patrols. <laughs> just be a vent down here. Completely counterintuitive. What are sewers to smell fresh? <laughs> it's like a air freshener hanging from it. <laughs> Pine tree. Uh, yeah. okay. And rounding the corner I here. Sheep take me now. Yeah, just mm -hmm. waiting for you to reach the point, TM. Uh, rounding the corner here, you do see the the waterway continuing, the hallway dropping away into nothingness. And this hallway here, there are a bunch of smaller intersection of pipes uh, spewing their water into this into this main main way. And as Kiho spots this, she just mentions pointing out one of these smaller pipes that seem barely big enough to fit one of the humans in here, let alone herself. As she says, that will be the way I will be heading. But it seems unlikely that your meeting place would be down any of these. Right. Arkin turns around well. In that case, good luck. And thank you for the guidance. She cocks her head slightly. I will leave if you do no longer require my guidance and aid, but I did promise to only leave you once you were done. However, of course, Beecher does not have to know about my disappearing sooner than intended. I would certainly appreciate the chance to take care of the wounds I've just received. It depends. It sort of looks down. Uh, is there anything we should be particularly aware of that, or that we would need your special knowledge of this place to navigate further down? This large waterway should terminate in a reservoir of well, more water. I wouldn't know where your contact is, but it seems likely that he would be in one of the larger rooms. I would either suggest continuing to swim to perhaps find your prey unawares, although you do not seem quite equipped for that. No. Perhaps you could climb up one of these bridges and walk. But you will likely make more noise than hiding in the refuse. We're already sort of in the refuse, so I don't see any point not being in the refuse. Yeah. Currently. We're here now, might as well. With that, she nods and scurries past you and disappears into a hole. Slurp. She disappears with a satisfying out the yep. end. <laughs> did she did she give uh, Hirondor a wink? Uh no. She knows that Hirondor's a silver and too damn good for her. Ah. <laughs> Different <laughs> wild and she wants yeah. nothing, none of that, you know. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, you know, don't knock it until you try it, is what I say. <laughs> is that what Enrique says? Like <laughs> it's been his motto for, for years now, actually. Okay. Right. Death is so liberating. <laughs> Some distance down the waterways, uh, you do eventually spot a proper bridge over the over the waterways. Slightly bigger hallways than before, leading to the left and right here. And Hirondo might also make out some some noises, some bits of conversation echoing through the through the waterways here. Although they are hard to make out what exactly it, it is being talked about or where exactly they're coming from at that. 
will relay this information. It's a shame we don't have crocodile mode. This is as much crocodile as we can be. <laughs> Randall, crocodile tooth. <laughs> they want wildness down here. I don't think they want crocodiles either. It's true. <laughs> no crocodiles. So what about, don't be silly. What so, about all their alligator pets? It's an that un, that's a, just, the, just an urban legend. There's no alligators down here. Some said that there's no silvers anymore. Mm. There's no silvers in the sewer. Well, no, surprise. <laughs> Where was the last silver found, Your Majesty? Well, stop, stop that for a moment. In the sewer. I'll do the thing. No, okay. Uh, coming closer here, Rondo and the people behind him can sort of make out bits of the conversation. Coming apparently from the east here, as a familiar voice, probably that of a small bronze dragon, is saying things such as, I'm telling you, Malone, these waterways are not as wide as they should be, 10 centimeters at least. It severely <laughs> reduces the water throughput and will lead to erroneous water buildup in the main reservoirs. It is a serious issue. I will need to measure this more carefully, but this army you've brought to protect me is... Severely distracting. <laughs> so a slightly quieter voice answers in a in a grumbling fashion that doesn't echo quite as well. Right, we found our we ambushed them when they passed the bridge from both sides. Yeah. They we will have no escape. Found our quarry, so like glide down under the bridge. Couldn't I'm we guessing just, we're going up river, right? Couldn't we just mind control him to jump and then run with him? Uh, uh, what? We have that ability? No, but he's on our side. Oh, okay. All right. You, we pretend to mind control. I mean, one, we could one, simulate. One, one, thing I was, one thing I was considering is like, is there some way we can use, say, my ghost sound to create some kind of distraction to maybe lure some of the guards away? Right, or let him know that we're here without letting them know that we're here. Mm -hmm. mm, so, so, I'm trying to think if there is some easy indication we could make that would not. Some kind of noise we could for that. Something will it would be, have to be something that he would pick up on that the guards would not find suspicious to be <laughs> alarmed about. And, um, I don't know what I don't know what exactly that would be. I think do such a thing unless we, in a flashback, agreed upon such a <laughs> signal, <laughs> like uh, the. Uh, the sterling compact symbol like crying of a, of a night fox uh, <laughs> owl sound <laughs> an, an owl <laughs> 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 I, mean, I, mean, I mean there is something about creating that kind of noise over here and just having the guards lord away I, I can agree to a, a previously organized like sound or something Mm -hmm. Signal okay. of description. Some kind of signal to let him know that we're here. So, mm -hmm. which case, yeah, Talia will, Talia will them. So, so wait, would it be, would it be like we do the signal and he is like, oh, we should go over here now, and then he like comes here and we rise from the deeps and are like, yeah. by the powerful, horrible forces of death, we command you, and he'll act like mind controlled and jump down to us. I and mean, we can run cast ghoul, ghoul form on him if we need to. I suppose. He look like a ghoul. Uh, oh, I guess we could. Yes, intense. like yeah, sure. Now like I can, I can do that. Twisting, so. twisting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can, no, no, no. But, no but I can no, totally no, no. do we, it. We need him to look a, uh, to be alive. They might just go. Well, he's undead. He, Stab he's, his face. He's <laughs> gone. But yeah, uh, he's lost. Yeah, sheep. Before, before, the, but well, as we're going to be doing this, I would, I have someone come on here with my utility spell. Yeah. I want to use disguise self upon myself. Okay. <laughs> Seems like a good idea. As Tal as Talia will we for we for her ma we for her magic and suddenly ch suddenly change forms to that of an evil old crone. <laughs> Death will come swiftly Isn't for like you. An urban legend of like <laughs> like some some witch or something. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Yes. 
Now there is. A witch that steals tannins for her dark rituals. <laughs> yes. And then Herandor she was comes up with her. 600 years ago. Yes. Part of the like, South. I am allied Herandor with forces stone. beyond your reckoning, you foolish bronze. <laughs> See <laughs> how the witch of the sewer. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. Essentially, I'm imagining then we can go with this, and then Tali can do the whole, like, I'm basically mind controlling him kind of thing, or, you know, pretending to. Oh, sure. If we're using her, using her cantrips to make, you know, flashy effects. Sure. Yes, I, I love the idea of Sewer Witch. And that's also because like, I just want to ruin her like reputation. command spells, like compulsions, you know, because mm. he has to know what you want him to do. Yeah, exactly. No, we'll be like, I weave the powers of darkness, come to me! You know, and uh, he'll be like, oh, no, okay. Be like, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, please, no. no. But hopefully do he will act when, first. Whenever. I mean, he's smart. He'll he'll come as, lo as long as you do it when he arrives, like, so they yeah. don't have time to grab him. No, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I will this go This will be all the surprise round. <laughs> yeah, the first thing is I will go ahead then and subtract my utility slot because I've disguised myself now. So I have one left. And then, yeah. I will try to use the ghost sound cantrip to create the signal as requested. So, uh, so to aid this, I assume that he's gonna walk in front with like all these dudes behind him. Mm -hmm. uh, so when he when he shows up here and you do that, I will uh, use the summon undead to like make zombies climb up here and just just stop. Yeah, stop clog them. them. Yeah. They're shit. They 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 can last a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but they won't kill anyone. But they're give, a holding give, action. Give, give it enough time that they have to draw their swords and actually have to do something. Yeah, like fight shitty zombies. Mm -hmm. While we, while we, we can take use them the and current. tackle them. We can use the current of the water to swim fast. Yes, don't, don't, no don't, don't, don't you like this idea? <laughs> yes, I, I, love I, I love everything about this. Yeah. Uh, to, to give you an idea of what Talia currently looks like, here's a here's a picture. And can you swing that scythe around? Yes, I'll 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 do what I can here. All oh right. God. So and Rikin likes her. <laughs> <laughs> She's quite fetching. Call her the Pain Mother. <laughs> yes. She was a witch who kidnapped Tannenim hundreds of years ago. Because let's be honest, you guys are wanted. She, she, he currently uh, looks like a dra he currently looks like an undead. So that's fine. She, we, need, we need your token to look a dead dark. dark. She uh, she yeah. sacrificed uh, that's your them. your form. <laughs> you know? She sacrificed hey, dark, them for the immortality or something. Um, oh, I can, form I, can I can just manually set it back afterwards. One sec. Mm. I can do that right now. What was that, Jonas? Oh, she sacrificed the tannins for eternal life. So yeah. she needs oh, to yeah, keep sacrificing them. You know. Yeah. She was defeated, but now she's back. Yeah. You know, we can spread we can spread all these rumors. I, I agree with Larian. She's a bit too sexy for a crown, but uh, we'll take it. I don't know. She's kind of haggard. You know, maybe, maybe Miss uh, Talia has standards for what she wants to do. <laughs> <like. laughs> yeah. yep. you know, this is the most crony she's willing to go. And maybe okay, this sure. witch herself yeah, was also like eternal youth, kind of. Oh, yeah, sure. No, no, it's, it's fine. <laughs> All right. So, so you make the signal and mm -hmm. lay an ambush. Uh -huh. Move a little bit for her right. to capture him, so he doesn't like yeah. break so, his neck. So, you know. What what sort of sound are we talking about here? Well, um, I'm. I'm 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 thinking um, the I the idea for the set the signal yeah for the signal we were discussed on there would have been something which um, you know something which would have been sound rather innocuous overall uh, say such as maybe the sound of a few rats fighting each other perhaps just something ridiculous. that wouldn't happen by itself though so probably more like the sound for example we are in a waterway right now we're in a sewer the sound of something like like a maybe like a you know a copper pan that's been flushed by someone some idiot. It's like banging yeah. about. Yeah, climbing sure. down. Yeah. Sure, I, yeah. I, 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 I can make the sound phone, of like, phone, I can make sound of like yeah. metallic. It goes in the way that he's supposed to come to join us or find yes. us. Mm. Perhaps, perhaps, so I guess like down this way. Yeah, perhaps some kind of metallic object then bouncing down the pipes in a very particular pattern he wanted. Mm. Let him know. Just enough for people to be like, ah, oh, some idiot threw something down here they shouldn't do, but yeah. not All enough right. to make anyone yeah. suspicious. How do they get a copper yeah. pan down the toilet? Yeah. I, if, if, if you want, I can try making a magical background check. Maybe try and make it look sound more natural. If that's what you want. I don't know. All right. Don't Copy ruin that. something people hear a lot. As you make the sound, you sort of hear the the bickering between the the 
two voices stop for the moment as uh, Gavir seems to say in a rather loud voice uh, well I guess I'll do this later we need to head back I have something I else yes something <laughs> else uh, Gavir exactly like super nervous. Don't, don't blow this damn it <laughs> <laughs> Sweat like pouring down from <laughs> like oh Whatever you do, remember that I cared about <laughs> you. <laughs> if we do not meet again, I uh I uh just want you to I mean it's like, well, At this point the weird. story will change. As a, a deep rumbling sigh goes through the goes through the hallways. The the voice of, of Milan answers Gavir. You do know I know what you're doing, right? Say silence filled the hallways for a moment. I was young once too, and the thrill of danger is ever present. I know that you know that there were wilders present here just a few weeks ago, and now you're hoping to find them. That is it, right? So the silence goes through it through the, the hallways. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. You you <laughs> caught me. <laughs> so maybe have your men lead the way, and we should go looking for some. No. Oh, how many how many undead can you create, Manic? I I trust you. Uh, D four, something like that. I think Jonah can back me up if need be. If yeah, like if it comes to worse, I can bring more. Mine are one. Mine are a bit deadlier, but... Uh, ripping them out of people. Yeah, that's the kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I could. That's more lethal, though. I yeah. don't think I can do it non-lethally. As the sound of shuffling feet comes becomes apparent, and... Uh... I need to move. Oh, I, I, imagine, I imagine it's decently dark down where we are right now. Then yes, it's it's absolutely dark. There are no permanent light fixtures of fixtures oh. of any sort. Oh goody! I, I, I goody! I can illuminate us when we need when we need when we do this to make it more dramatic. Yeah. Awesome. What I'm thinking is if I grab Devere with like uh, like grab him in my jaw, mm -hmm. perhaps I could uh, like. Uh, actually make him kind of scared so the scream's believable because this idiot isn't going to make a believable scream. Oh yeah, he, you frighten him. Make him like. I need squeal. to frighten the shit out of him, yeah. I'm going to grab him. Like, um, Is this tall enough that I could like, stand dragon. up right. and grab You're him? You're Wilders, so... Yeah. Uh, it would be t uh, you would be tall enough to grab something from the bridge here, yeah. Yeah, okay, so what I'm thinking just as a Precursor for everyone is he comes up, uh, Talia no does loose. crazy <laughs> shit, and then I grab him with teeth and all, uh, maybe hurt him a little bit in the process, and he screams in terror, making it believable. Yep. As from the hallway, you hear the stomping of boots, followed by the deep rumbling voice of Melon berating probably someone right behind him. About the dangers of youth. <laughs> yes. yes, of youth. Mm -hmm. Stomp, stomp comes around the corner. Tension's Big. pretty thick down here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> in the water. As, as final, final words of spells. Yeah. I'm no, it's. I, I think. Yeah, exactly. That the, the final word of the spell is on the lip. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for that last. Just holding the spell at its precipice. Okay, oh my god, blackness. that is a small army. <laughs> as as that, luckily, luckily, we're in the pitch blackness. All we have to do is just, just don't make any noises. Like yeah, we just yeah, they... wait. They do carry lights, but they don't reach very well into the into the sewers below. And the stomping of boots does make it sort of hard to hear most noises, apart from the ever-present and completely overblown 
Well, not overblown, that's not the right word. Penetrating, rumbling voice of Milan. Oh, the only person breathing is Talia, right? <laughs> let, let, let's be honest, one person's breath not going to be heard of all these boots. Yeah, exactly. And moving water and everything, so... It's not like we're scared of these idiots. We've already defeated two of these golems and guards. No, and we're, not. we're more like concerned for them in a way. We just yeah, make this yeah. quickly so we don't, so I don't have the circle of death. Yeah, we don't want to murder them we all. Or so one of us to fire a spell at the, the at the mooks there and just annihilate all of them at once. Yeah. Oh. Because I because I will end up annihilating all of them with any spell I use except magic missile. Let's so keep walking. They are coming pretty close. Oh yes. Well, as it turns out, one of the mooks does inspect the 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 dark pile of the water slightly closer, and the the collection of people does come to a halt as lights are sort of swung towards you. Mm. Are they dead? <laughs> Shit. They uh, might be, unless we can snuff the light again. Well, I mean, no matter what, he's not going to be coming this way now, is he? Well, uh, well, actually, here's something. As they're trying to do this, then, can Tali release a ghost sound this way to, to draw their attention that way? There might be a wilder that way. Oh, yeah, like a dragon roar or something, or a dragon sound. Uh, yeah, I think that's in the realm of possibility. Give me a Magical roll, background. then. I, I, cer background. I certainly can't consult the bottom. Can, <laughs> can Enrican help with this? Uh, how would Enrican help? By like realizing what Tali is trying to do and try to amplify the effect. He also he has go sound. That's a thing he can do. We working together in conjunction. Mm, just directly helping, I'd say no. Unless you want to indirectly help somehow. <sighs> make it, make it, make some like other little sounds, like claws against rock moving away. That's sure. Sort of something. Sure. Something maybe get throwing about. So sure. I'm creating, I'm creating the creature, and you something. Create the so, yeah, something uh, like the ambiance, or like the the sound of something heavy being drawn, like dramatic dragged. music. <laughs> dramatic music. Dun dun. <laughs> dun dun dun. The imperial march starts. <laughs> Twenty-five. Okay. That's uh, pretty damn good. Whatever I, I know. Will. Twenty-two. I Not bad. Just save their lives. Mm -hmm. Uh, the the light very quickly gets swung towards the the hallway here where the sound is coming from, as the the procession still sort of stops, Malone grumbling, uh, as he'll say, basically a name and then, uh, you know, Peter and one iron. Go check that out. How are we meant They'll... to see the big guy? Is, is the golem one eye or Peter? Uh, yes, you are meant to see all of this. Okay, oh, okay. There we, go. we, we couldn't see them all, so... No. You know. Yeah, that makes so much more sense now. Yeah, I, I wasn't it sure. It is the sec second of the guard captains. It should be... Oh, you people. <laughs> they sort of head off. Oh, it's his play. You know, you know, we, you, you, know, you, know we, you know, we could partially continue this. We need to have, like, eventually making a screaming sound from over there. He needs to be on the bridge. Give you need to push these people up mm. a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. A few moments so pass we... with very little movement happening, apart from these guys moving slightly forward. Malone sort of moving closer to Gavir. Yes. Alright. As people return after a little while, looking towards Malone, sort of shrugging and shaking their heads. Malone rumbles once again, makes a gesture for everyone to keep moving. Okay, here we go, soon. <laughs> Steady! <laughs> Hold! Hold! Just, just be ready to create this on that, guys. Because... Oh, I, mean, I think we're very ready. Oh, we are yeah, so ready. Hold! Well, we'll get another step. Yes. Look at that happy fella. No. Uh, okay. Keep moving. All right. No. No. Roar! Right. Okay. Oh, surprise. We race, rise <laughs> from the depths. 
as I, as I, yeah, as I suppose in a sudden, in a sudden, a sudden thing here, Talia will suddenly create a sickening, sickening light from mm -hmm. from appear from the darkness. And Rakin is uh, wielding the gleaming deadly scythe as it races from the depths, looking, uh, looking all up. Right. My force, my forces, contain him. We shall <laughs> claim his blood. <laughs> And I can uh, shout out, foolish, <laughs> foolish Tenonim, you thought you could insult us and get away with it. I have allied with powers darker than you can possibly imagine. Now, Darwinka, Darwinka the ever-living will claim you. <laughs> Seize him, creature right, of death and darkness. Why don't we roll some initiative <laughs> here? I think, I think we get a surprise round, at least. Yeah. Uh, you do surprise most of them. You do not surprise Malone, who has gone gone into full alert after hearing something. The others, however, they they thought the danger was over. I'm gonna have to skirmish so Malone, aren't I? No surprise round. Surprise round. Uh, surprise uh, round. Well, in the in the first round, you and Malone get to act. Everyone else doesn't. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully, Grand Pete, initiative, so you can you can put things in the way. Yeah, oh, I was shit. prepared for that kind of. Mm. Yeah. No, you know, the idea was, you know, Ray's gonna yeah. grab chunk, get chunk, grab and you. Hopefully, Gavir will, will, will fall down as he's supposed to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He might not be surprised either, would you say? He is not surprised either. That he is kind of knew that. Uh, I don't see Malon on there. That is a good point. There he is. Oh, yeah. Terrible 15. Ah, oh, thank God. All right. He actually have... jumped before her. It's good. All right. For the sake of organization, I'm going to reveal a bit more. Wow, that is so a huge uh, army, isn't it? <laughs> it's block of Malorn, so he can't easily oh, uh, follow. Yep. Yeah, uh, I'll do my best. Focus him. Do my best. Uh, sure, uh, Graham will in the in the rattling voice of uh, his best interpretation of like a zombie mage. Like basically a dead wizard, right? Mm -hmm. Anakin, he may interpret of Anakin. <laughs> 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 so that would be something like, "Come to me, little one. Follow my spellbound voice." As he will uh, cast, uh, basically, you know, giving giving you the "Come down here, you fool," and giving him an, a reason to do it because now he's magically done. And then he will summon the undead to summon four. Uh, that's a lucky number. Nice. Uh. Zombie mooks to appear on the bridge. All right, as you cast your fake spell, why don't you give me a bluff a spell skill check? Sure. Uh, well, as it happens, uh, Graham can cast spells, and uh, what he's doing is basically trying to emulate what he does when he casts a real spell. Uh, so I would argue that he would use his. Uh, the spellcasting background and probably the charisma makes the most sense. Yes, that is, makes sense. Again, a weird thing because the zombie form gives him a huge penalty to that. Uh, Maybe not in this case because you're very scary. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if, I mean, if he. It if does make you a worse actor, basically. That's what it does. Yeah. All right. Alright, that's pretty passable. good. Couldn't do much better. Nope, couldn't do much better than that. Alright. Alright, and then zombies. Well, you know, they're just sort of popping up wherever I can see them. Maybe it's zombie 2 1 to the, to the right, so you block that off completely. Uh, I, Yeah, I just can't really, I mean, I can't justify seeing that well in there. I don't think, like, my line of sight is pretty limited to this corridor. Yeah. Uh, but they can move and act anyway. Uh, uh, so, um... They push him in, they <laughs> throw him down from the... Basically, pit. that's what I'm thinking. Because I don't think he's going to resist, right? No. Being thrown down. I mean, he's now spellbound also by your horrible voice. Yeah. And... Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's Graham's spell use. Uh, I don't think we're going to have him run away just yet. Uh, 
So uh, now it would be his summons. Edling will move forward, you know, as he does, menacingly with his weapon, sort of move down to the butt on the bridge, you know, make a ruckus. Actually, can I move him over here? Like, and make noise there so it sounds like we're from both sides. Uh, you could move under the bridge, yeah, but they would notice him, or at least Milorn and Gavir would notice him moving under the bridge first. Sure. She'll be on the other side looking up, flanking it. Uh, then we have the zombies. Um, zombie 2 would like to push Gavir off the bridge, down to Irandor. Uh, let's see, how do we do that? I, I guess give me, give me a d20. All right. Straight right. average. That would be a failure. Okay, he's resisting. Yes. He he is in fact resisting. Yes. Well, let's see if the others can do it. <laughs> Keep pushing. So uh, we have uh, number three. Uh, no. Nope. All right, Fif- number one. Fifteen or above. No. <laughs> the last one. No. No. All right, fucking Gavir, man, you're playing along. Come on. Well, uh, I suppose then. There's a sort of shuffle while trying to push him off or grab him, and he's like fighting. All right, all right. Well, that's Graham. Now I'll go back to the bathroom. Let's see. Uh, the guardsman mooks. I'll do this. Surprise. Actually, surprise, surprise, surprise round. Sure. Yes. Good point. Uh, well, Gavir tries to give you a look and tries to convey something. Why don't you give me a a wisdom skill check? Of understanding gestures. <laughs> understanding Gavir gestures. Uh... All right. How how about this? Um. Well, being a wilder, being raised by a Tannin, hunting required absolute silence. So nonverbal communication was essential. So gestures and looks were a uh... thing. I don't think that that's appropriate here because Gavir is the opposite of a wilder. Damn. I have an idea for you, uh, Sheep. Myself. Yeah? So, Talia, Talia grew up as a child of the temple, constantly inside, and unfortunately, the temple temples deal with a lot of different things, but some of which can be rather bad. Many times before when Talia has been with, say, the family of someone who has been doing rather ill, she, you know, you don't always want to. You don't always want to say something out loud when like another priest comes along, but kind of instead just give them subtle gestures and subtle looks to kind of inform them that you know someone may have died or something bad has happened, but you don't want the people in front of you to know yet. So kind of having to learn these social cues, and she did grow up in you know quite an urban society. Okay, I, I think that could work. Wisdom based. Yes. Six plus four plus five. Uh, let's see, Talia would think that whatever Gavir is trying to tell you, it has to do with the fact that Milorn is not only watching you, but also him. Uh. He's, he's, he's worried about, um, I guess, he's, I guess he's worried about Milorn's going to think he's doing it on purpose. Right, so we, we need to we need to go up there and take it. By, in which case, Hirondor grabs him down, right? Hirondor grabs him. Yeah, Hirondor will have to grab. Fuck yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, Gavir will. Well, in fact, uh, no, he he doesn't really fight. That's not his thing. He can get without, Cowl, get away without doing that. Uh, Anakin will delay until after Hirondor. Okay. <laughs> the Winker the Ever Living. <laughs> Love uh, the name, by the way. She's mostly going to delay until after Hirondor, but we're kind of go. Because, yeah, because go, we want to. Go my, abom- go, my abomination! Grab him. Yep, because we want to throw up things that make pursuit yeah. more difficult. All right. Well, I guess Hirondor moves into this square, and then goes to grab Gavir with his, effectively his bite, but. Not mm-hmm. actually trying to kill him. Yep. <laughs> Knock him mm. unconscious with a bite, basically. Yeah, well, in a sense. Like, just literally grabbing him with his teeth. Oh, well, let's say, give me a bite attack, which will target PD instead, and if it hits, you grab him. <laughs> what is this PD? It's weakness. Ah. Rolling. 
<laughs> you don't know uh, we're here again with us. Uh, uh, <laughs> You're not as weak as a remote. Here we are again. Don't roll a one. Pleasure. That's a pleasure. Don't. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, right. that hits. You grab him. Run. All right. And then I guess we'll sink. I can't run. Of course you can. Hey. You already I moved. moved into the square. No, you. Uh, that's true. Uh, I suppose that's true. I'll drop I down at least. Yeah, yeah, drop take down. Him, take so. him down with you. Yeah, you, you like, yeah. grab him. Throw him over here! <laughs> <laughs> no, we want him to squeal a little. Oh, he's squealing, alright. Good. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 like, Hirondor kind of, like, turns as if he's gonna move away, basically. Like, he's in the process of moving, so Gavir's, like, the furthest away from the bridge he can possibly be. Alright. Mm -hmm. winker. Um, like with the floor, whatever you can do. <laughs> well, I don't have anything that can directly kind of hit the floor like that, which is unfortunate. I don't think that could really affect the train too much. I don't think. Um, but I suppose something. Let's see if it's something Tardy could do, such as. I sh you know, should, should we make it at least look like we're, you're trying to do a bit of a fight here? Maybe I, c I could fire off like a magic missile at uh, the guard captain. Uh, the more you just block things or like make it difficult for him to reach. It was like denial. I don't have Lauren, right? I could denial him. That's true. I, I probably I'm sure won't he has all kinds of badass stuff that he can't I use. I, that, that's true. I probably I probably won't kill him with it after all. Mm -hmm. so. Do it. You shall not be getting him back. He is ours now. As she will go ahead and cast forth denial <laughs> against Nominor. Yeah, 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 that's the. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, I have to seal off his power. He has nothing that he can use against that. The draconic essence drained. Mm -hmm. I I seal what makes. What makes you powerful? You are merely mortal. Now. The, the mental terrors hit him. He squints. His head shaking a bit. And with, with him now being hampered, um, Tony is going to remain here. Not going to move because I want, might want to counter spell the peacekeeper. Mm. Potentially. Right, Anarkin. Uh, Anarkin wants to draw upon the power of the scythe again to make lichen or like rank, like anything that grows up there to grow and try to entangle Guard Captain Malorn as much as possible. I want to make him stuck. Okay. So he's both stuck and hampered, which would be great for him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say that's a attack versus PD most likely. Okay. I'll use my normal chant of endings then. Yep. But no damage. Uh, yeah. 28? Uh, 28. Yes, that works. All right. I, I would say that what could also be considered a, a quick action that expands your once per battle for the oh, scythe. Oh, absolutely. So absolutely. Could still do a normal attack. But he is stuck. All right. The, the like, just ghostly and like dead vines just crawl out and grab around him as Anarkin cackles evilly like, Yes! <laughs> the power of darkness holds you fast, God Captain. You have failed, failed utterly and completely. <laughs> uh, and uh, throw more undead up there. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're gonna throw some more undead up there. Just to be sure here, we'll summon undead to just flood the bridge. It's gonna be crawling with these things. Um. For three starving ghouls popping into existence up there. I guess they'll like push mine a little further in or. Sure, I don't know exactly. Like over here, then you can just stop your there. So they just like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I guess the, the image is like they form down here in the water and then crawl yeah, up. Yeah, they crawl up, they surge out of the water, hissing and screaming. It's a very effective picture, I think. The zombie dragon. I think the whole picture is amazing. You, you know, are we playing creepy well here? 
Yeah, yeah. I, no. I don't now, see. Now we just need Herondor to... to oh, yeah, also create a sickly green light down here around everyone. So. To get the, yeah. the F out. Let's put it this way, then. Around the way, you know. They're not going to down me in one hit. No. Well, I, at this point, I have almost 200 hit points. You just need so. to move quickly, that's what you need it's to do. It's not gonna hit me. You can All double right. move, it's all good. Um, the, the, the nice thing is, since Malon can't move and he can't use special attacks, he can't even breath weapon you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he... He... Would seem like the person who would give a, a justice-filled response to these accusations. But it seems he has a big headache, and all he can do is... Unsheath his enormous greatsword and start swinging at Hirondor. Which will be 28 versus AC yep. for 42 damage. Okay. His special attack won't trigger because he is hampered. Alright. Um, because I'm expecting more hits, we'll trigger that. The dragon's, your, your dark dragon scale is deflected. Yeah. Doesn't even cut him, just hits the damn dark. zombie skin. It's true. It just hits dragon the rotting. Okay. Yeah. And then I think that ends the surprise round. Yes. Well, then we grab turn again. All right. Uh, well, I'm kind of done here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time to skedaddle. Right? I, I don't have a whole lot I can do without drawing attention. I don't want to use my... After all, I can't use like my flames or anything. Uh, but my zombies will attack my Lauren. That's kind of what they're here for. Uh, so we have one zombie doing a rotten fist here. Uh, I'll give them escalation die, why not? I can do that quick action. There's no escalation die. Uh, oh, there's no? So okay, well, no. not after then, this then, then they won't get anything from that. Uh, nope. <laughs> and then this will take the peacekeeper. Uh, nope. I have no idea, but uh, we have a... No. No, okay, that is crappy rolls, but these are shitty zombies, so uh, so like shuffle over here. No. Uh, I mean, they're not there. Oh, Edling. Yeah, Edeling, Edeling yeah. can uh, so surge oh, up. Could Grand Legs have stepped like over here? Because uh, come on, don't with that. Yeah, Edling go. is gonna go like. Basically, can he like? I mean, he's here to intercept if anyone comes down here, really. Yes. yes. So that's what he's doing, basically. Prepare action. Mm -hmm. Interception duty. Okay. Well, the guardsmen are apparently. The first ones to react. I mean, they got. They're supposed to react, right? Yeah. As uh, let's see, these two will try to hack at the zombie. One and two. That's a hit. Two hits. Five. For five damage. These guys will sort of uh, pile on. They oh. assume. <laughs> Can't really do, do they, much. Do they shout things like "For Grand Castle, protect the architect"? Or like, "Have you ever right about these tunnels being too narrow?" <laughs> 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 they indeed needed to be ten centimeters wider. Anyway, all right. As the water elemental being commanded by its summoner and controller, will we command it to try to search past? Everything and intercept Tirando, which will be I have a, quite impossible, I have a, I have really. A, I have a slight question that might okay. be very nitpicky, but is that water elemental a summon? Shouldn't that water elemental act after the summoner in that case? Uh, it's not technically a summon. Okay. It's it's for technical purpose in this case a permanent summon. So it is just an NPC like any other. Okay. Well, summoned with a ritual and everything. I'm just going to, for for the sake of organization, move these guys to the right. But that sure. shouldn't change. Zombies can push them that way. Yeah. Use that cast the, less line of sight on us. The water elemental will squeeze past all these guys and try to get as close to Rando as it can. Do they get a take of opportunities? Uh, let's say yes. It sounds like you're basically disengaging from. I'll just use the same one then. Well, if he doesn't want to attack, he can avoid it. Otherwise, it'll be. Could the ghouls intercept it before it reaches Hirandor because they're push he's pushing like this? Uh, that that's basically what's happening here. Hirandor it's is down. Hirandor wouldn't be engaged by the elemental yet. Okay. The ghouls are uh, I'm I'm happy to take any. No, you need to move anyway. <laughs> you don't yeah, want I'm to saying, be engaged. You need to move. I'm saying I'm fine to pop out regardless. But the water elemental will attack uh, both the starving ghouls in front of him. First the one at the top, and then the one at the bottom. Uh, yes. 
That's a hit. Yep, destroys him. Oh, yes, I forgot about the regenerating water elemental. Mm. All right, would a 16 have it? No. Because it does seem like the, the waterways below are empowering the summon. Mm -hmm. uh, well, these guys, they, they can't do shit. They, they'll try to squeeze past and probably get intercepted by something. Mm -hmm. I mean, the zombies are just going to... Oh, the other side. Okay. It's, uh, there's just no room for them, really. There's, there's no... Well, the only squish the, all the other guys. The only not engaged thing is this ghoul, so I'm assuming you would have him intercept him. Yeah. Right? And then... It will attack the ghoul that intercepted. With two fists of iron. Mm, one, hit. one hit and one miss for 12. Total 12, yeah. Total 12, yeah. Wait, what, why is the miss different? It's different. very damage. Yeah, which is rare, but some enemies can have varying miss damage. Also, the, the 27 uh, hit from the water elemental should have overflown to, to the next mook. Yeah. Which should have dropped one of them to nine, which would mean that another nine would kill another one. Yes. It's dead. Good. Uh, well, Gavir will sort of struggle, but he thinks he can get away with not really doing it. So he'll just. I mean, even if he does, he's not getting out of. Let's be honest, he's not getting out of here in North Map anyway. Just play you, fainted. You know, he can, he can hit me if he wants. Just like to see if he could, maybe. No. <laughs> That's a he no. tries, but fails. Well, we're running out of um, dead here. Run you yeah. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Double moving. Uh, okay. With let, Gavir. Let me, let me draw more lines. Since they might actually become relevant still. We might have a water mantle following us, which we have to blast, but you know. Yeah. Casting. Yeah. Sort of thing. Um, but yeah. Okay. I'll drag Gavir all the way up here. Okay. Talia. Or rather, Dalvinka the Ever Living. <laughs> you know, I've been around to have a Necrancer enough, I might as well have it have a dark name to use. True. As I will We don't we don't really care about hurting the hurting the water mental that much, do we? No. No, you can kill the fucker. Like, it's just an elemental. The, the main thing is I don't I didn't really have I don't have an, a really an, a good at will for wizard and I don't want to use I use my character so it's easy to identify me so you know I can yeah. still do some things um, just don't do fire blue fire is a giveaway <laughs> no wait it's technically not fired oh yeah it's fired I mean, yeah it's, it'll be a problem for me uh, I could <clears> hmm <throat> hmm I have, let's see, I do have a fourth salvo I could technically try and send off, but... Sure. Um, I like the fourth salvo. Fourth salvo is good. Or you could buff our, like, we give the ghouls 60 hit points or whatever. That is also true. I suppose I, I could know. buff the ghouls. You could. Yeah. Bolster the undead. <laughs> I, because I could grant... I could grant... Eight, I could grant uh, three different undead 20 temporary hit points. Sure. Yeah, I, I guess that could work. Two different two zombies. Ooh, two zombies. 